Millage rates are changing across Bay County this week. While some are in place, others are just being proposed. News 13's Taylor Rambo tells us more on these new rates and how it will affect residents throughout the county. Both city and Bay County commissioners discussing new millage rate caps based off the numbers from the county property appraiser after Hurricane Michael. The tax roll took, took somewhat of a, of a hit as of the July 1 numbers that we, that we submitted for the county taxable value. It's down 2.26 percent. Millage rate is the rate used to calculate local property taxes. A rate of one mill represents a tax liability of one dollar per one thousand dollars of asseted value. In Panama City, a new cap proposed at Tuesday's commission meeting, raising the millage rate from 4.35 to 5.55. We'll be able to get a certain amount of money to help replenish our reserves, which we've spent our 17 million dollars worth of reserves already. And we will be able to garner the same amount of money as we did last year to run the city. Brennicki says even though this is an increase, it will not have a big impact. Most people's property taxes probably won't go up much at all. Some of them will go down because their values dropped even though the millage goes up. In Bay County, the board agreed on a millage ceiling. We, we set a ceiling, which is um, kind of a working number that we can go no higher. Um, obviously, we, we intend to go lower. He says they are working to make sure this will not trouble residents. We are diligently working, turning over every stone to try to find every funding source to save money so that we don't burden the citizens of Bay County. In Callaway, plans to raise the rate from 1.99 to 2.75. One city that did finalize their millage rate, Lynn Haven. Commissioners decided to keep their current rate of 3.90. For News 13, I'm Taylor Rambo, Panhandle Strong.